smack them a god. It's time for a track by track album battle brought to you by Dennis Turney Jr. Now, Dennis, I know what you're thinking. Oh, man, you're doing this screaming for vengeance versus don't break the oath. That was kind of like, uh, uh, if this didn't work, I would ask for this. Listen, my friend, I'm going to do this one and... What was it again? I wrote it down here. Diet of a Madman versus Number of the Beast will be on next Black Sabbath Sunday. So I know you just asked for Diary versus uh, Number. And then through this as afterthought, and I said, dude, Dennis is an awesome guy. His wife was telling him, ah, you shouldn't do that one, do this, do that. I'm going to do them both, all right? It is for you, Dennis, and your killer wife. Screaming for vengeance versus don't break the oath now. It's going to sound like I hate Screaming for Vengeance, which I don't. I don't hate it. I love it. But there's three albums that own the 80s, in my opinion. And an EP. The Nuns Have No Fun EP, Melissa and Don't Break the Oath, and Diary of a Madman. Those four releases are the greatest thing that they had. There's many other ones born again. I can go on. Heaven and Hell Mob Rules. British Steel, I can go on. But I'm telling you, those are the greatest albums. So, uh, I predict that Scream of Revenge is going to get beat up. Alright, here we go. Hellion Electric Eye versus Dangerous Meetings. Now, here we go. Here, this is like the most oh my god, so difficult because the greatest intro to any album is the Hellion Electric Eye, in my opinion. That is the greatest intro ever. Now, Dangerous Meeting is not as good as an intro to Electric Guy, but I think it's a better song. I'm giving it to Dangerous Meeting, and it hurts, but I am. All right, next, Riding on the Wind versus Nightmare. Now, this one, I went a little back and forth, but I go, now, you know what, man? I'm giving this one to the priest, Riding on the Wind. All right, Bloodstone versus Desecration of Souls. Man, this is just torture. Torture. And uh, I'm going to have to go, and it hurts, man. How much longer will it take for the world to see? Loses. I'm giving it to Stay Away, White Magician, Young Lovers, and Morning Wives. You're not welcome. God, man, man forget it. Merciful fate. What Kim Rose did no wrong. All right. Yeah, and I love Bloodstone. All right, next. Take These Chains versus Night of the Unborn. I'm going with Priest. I like Take These Chains more. I love that song. I know it's kind of like a poppy tune that that Halloween guy wrote, whatever his name is, that also did some actors are going to roll. But, um, all right. I'm giving that to take these chains. Another one for Priest. All right, next. Pain and Pleasure versus The Oath. I love Pain and Pleasure, but no, not even close, actually. It's not even close. The Oath, by far. Giving that to Merciful Fate. Next. Screaming for Vengeance versus Gypsy. This is really rough. But I gotta say, man, my favorite song off Don't Break the Oath is Gypsy. It is. It wins. And I love Screaming for Vengeance, but it wins. Next, um, You Got Another Thing Coming versus Princess of Hell. By the way, for those that don't know, it's a misspelling that they never corrected. It was supposed to be Welcome Prince. Prince, like more than one prince, like princes of hell. And they wrote princess of hell, and they, they never corrected it. Uh, I don't like You Got Another Thing Coming. Never liked it. And even when it was a brand new song, uh, I was like, man, Screaming for Vengeance rules, but I don't like You Got Another Thing Coming. And I thought that way before it became a hit, because I got Screaming for Vengeance really early on. Um, Welcome Princes of Hell. Princes of Hell. That wins. All right, next. The most underrated track on this album, Fever. Love that song. Versus 
to One Far Away. Gorgeous, gorgeous instrumental with King doing the little harmony thing. Beautiful song. I love it. Uh, if it was going against you got another thing coming, it would win. But no, it's going against Fever. And Fever is pretty damn good, so I'm going to give it to Fever. All right, last song. Devil's Child versus Come to the Sabbath. I'm going to have to go with uh, Come to the Sabbath. I love Devil's Child, but Come to the Sabbath, man. Melissa Part 2. Love it. All right, so Dennis Turney Jr., here is the final score. And you're going to have uh, your Black Sabbath Sunday this Sunday with, uh, what was it again? I have the worst memory. It's getting old stuff. Uh, Die of a Madman versus Number of the Beast this Sunday on Black Sabbath Sunday because Dennis Turney Jr. saved Black Sabbath Sunday for this Sunday coming up. So thank you, Dennis Turner Jr. You rule, brother. And everybody out there that's still watching, you all rule too. And I want you to stay frosty. And I also want you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And click the little notification bell for the YouTube aneurysms. So, and uh, click the little notification bell. I think I said that already. But you know what I haven't said yet? I haven't said that stay frosty and to listen to Black Sabbath and smack them a gob.